time to play in. Fresh presents eight urban celebrities battling it out Māori and Pacifica styles in a bid to not be the most plastic poly present. Oh, and this sweet ass prize. A trip for two to the Pearl of the Pacific, Samoa, courtesy of Air New Zealand. And five nights accommodation at the luxurious Taumiasina Island Resort. We'll even throw in some pocket money so our winner can fill their suitcase up with cuddle chips for the flight home. It's time to swap those Jordans for Jandals. This is... Know Your Roots. I'm waiting for the unexpected. Only thing I can cook is eggs on toast, so no more cooking challenges, please. Bro, to be honest, the confidence that Boomer has been showing is uh, a little scary but I'm not going to let it get to me. Probably only worried about uh, Ruben. I think Grace is the underdog. You know, she's got the height, long arms, long legs. I'm expecting something Polynesian inspired because we've already done something Māori. I hope today's challenge is a sleeping competition. No, I'm just kidding. I'm pretty bad at that, actually. I have no idea what they've got in store for us, so I'm a little bit nervous. Philly. All muscle, no heart. <laughs> Yo rana, malo elele. Welcome back, cousins, to Know Your Roots. I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go. Last week, Puma said far to Terrell. It was actually later bowl. Later bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, you better make sure you step it up, or you might be hitting the road as well. I don't want to be eliminated. I want to make it to the end. I want to take it out. Boomer, you were on the winning team last week. Got a bit of confidence coming through today? I stay confident. That's how I roll. That guy's got a mouth on him, and that can really irritate people. Well, if everything turns to coconut custard today, you'll have no one to blame. Because coming up right now, we've got an individual challenge. It's a little scarier being individual because you can't really talk to people about it, you have to keep it all in your own mind. I was hoping it was some kind of eating challenge. Some seafood, you know, some kai moana, some oka. You'll be playing poi rako. Poi rako, I'm thinking rako, something to do with sticks. I'm still hoping it could be an eating game. So poi rako is an old Māori game that was used to test a warrior's focus, agility and determination for victory. I don't know how to play it. I don't even know how to say it properly. I'm, it's, yeah. The key to success in this game is good listening, quick reactions, and fast feet and hands. How is it played? Well, you'll each be given a rako or stick. Standing in a circle, you must hold your rako upright. I'll be the ref, so if I call Maui, left, you must run to your left to grab your neighbor's rako. If I call Mato, right, then you must go right. It's simple. If you don't get to the stick before it hits the ground, you're out. Last person with the Rako standing wins. Easy money. The winner of this challenge will be safe and will go straight through to next week. I'm a little nervous for this one, but still quietly confident. I think being a woman is an advantage because we don't have to carry our ego on our back. The rest of you will have to compete in an elimination challenge and one of you will be ordering an Uber home. Oh, you're freaking me out! Because you're like, may I have to order an Uber home? I'm like, what? Now, there's a bit of potential here to cheat. Throwing your rako on the ground so the other person can't catch it, for example. And there are a few here that look like they will throw that on the ground to disadvantage you. Maybe, Boomer. Maybe, babe. Now, I'm the type of person that plays with integrity, with mana. So. If I see anyone being unsportsmanlike, I'm gonna call you out on it and you'll be up. Seki? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe the shorter people might be at a disadvantage for this challenge just because they've got a longer way to go to get the Rako. I'd never be disadvantaged at anything. Think who's gonna struggle is Boomer. He's still growing. Short legs, short arms, not fit. <laughs> 
Boomer has his uh, rugby rugby shoes on. Good on you, because you'll need those. <laughs> I mean, who rocks up to a shoot in rugby boots? <laughs> oh, bro, I can't believe that. Hello? What? He was prepared. Was that first place? <laughs> yeah, this is Boomer. But I guess he, uh, he managed to slide with it, so we'll see if it makes any difference. Okay, so once again, Maui is left. Matau is right. Okay. Maui. You'll be playing boy rako. Standing in a circle, you must hold your rako upright. If I call Maui, you must run to your left to grab your neighbor's rako. If I call Matau, then you must go right. If you don't get to the stick before it hits the ground, you're out. Maui. Go. <laughs> don't just stand there, just go. Matau. Screw all of them. I'm going to like Maui. run all over them and I'm going to like just smash them out of the way. <laughs> Kimuri, one step back. Matau. See you later, Grace. So I was the first person to drop the stick. Halify Grace, that's a drop. You're out. Oh, thank God I'm not the first one out. I felt like it wasn't fair, but I don't want to be a sore loser now, do I? Matou. Maui. I go. Shivers left. Left, go left, go left. Matou. The way she's releasing is pretty horrible, but you know, I make up for it. Maui. Feely stick's quite sweaty. <laughs> it is making it a bit hard. Maui. Matou. Oh, oh. Raze. Raze, running the wrong way. <laughs> Ollie said Ngato and I went the wrong way. Maybe I need to brush up on my Maoli. My I'm going to call Philly safe because he ran the right way. I was thankful I, I was still in the game. Our skills are dropping like flies, so it was making me a little bit nervous. To be honest, I don't think Bianca was playing fair. I'm watching her. Boomer, you know, he's playing a little mental game, trying to put us off, little threats here and there. His eyes, I can see the devil in them, kind of coming across. She's got a, little, a bit to say about everything. Yeah, mouth. <laughs> if you see her, she's standing there like this. <laughs> Maui. <laughs> Maui. Oh. Oh. A double hitter. I got out, but Philly got out too. I think Bianca set it up, eh? The stick was pretty much already falling on the ground. Later, ball! <laughs> down to three. So it's down to Boomer, Bianca and I. Can't feel my legs at the moment. My hands are shaking and my eyes are kind of going cross-eyed. Mato! Go, go, go! Oh! Oh, you got it, you're safe. Maui! Maui! Matau! Maui! Who do you hear? Wait, wait, wait. Forward, Maui? Maui? Well, what's your left? I don't know, I can't think. Yeah. Is Maui still left? If your left hand is on the left side, then you go to that way. <laughs> it doesn't change. Fakorongo mai! Maui! Go, go, go! Oh, oh. save! <laughs> and I'm going to sa. <laughs> Matau! Oh. Yeah. 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 Basketball skills. In the mirror. Maui! Bianca, I'm sure she pushed that stick. I should have kicked up a fuss, asked if someone saw it, but no, I just decided to be humble. Yeah, what's up, girlfriend? <laughs> Bianca and Boomer, they're competitive as, so it, it's, yeah, it's good to watch. Game on, game on. I look at her and I'm like, oh, I'm going to Samoa. I'm safe. All right, Boomer, Bianca, final two. You're playing for immunity from elimination. Mato! Go! Oh! 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 Oh!
winner. <laughs> got, the, got the directions wrong. There is a spray painted on. She did stitch two of us up on that thing, so I guess that's a bit of karma for her to uh, run the wrong way. Samoa! He cheated. He bought boots. I got this little saying that goes, stay ready so you never have to get ready. See you in elimination, Bianca. Uma, Saipei on taking out Poirako. You're safe, you don't have to worry about the next elimination challenge. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! I was gutted, but you know what? It's not down to talent. It's the show's cheating. <laughs> no one said you can't wear cleats. I didn't write the game. I just play the game. The rest of you six will now be competing in a moko puzzle elimination challenge. Why? Why, Ollie? Why? Uh, I hate puzzles. <laughs> Palangi have history books. We have moko and tatao. Right across the Pacific, these are our stories, our knowledge, and our marks of money. I'm wondering what the moko looks like, because they've made a whole puzzle out of it, so that's going to be interesting. You'll be split into two teams of three. Each team will have 32 tiles in their own designated area. You will have a living, breathing canvas as your reference. It's simple. You must recreate a moko design with the tiles. Once you think you have completed the puzzle correctly, call done. Both teams must stop while I check the puzzle. I can do this. Puzzles, you know, where's Wally? This challenge sounds pretty easy. Puzzles, we're all adults here. There are only two rules. Only one person can run and reference the moko at a time. And if you call done and your puzzle is incorrect, your team will get a one minute penalty. Oh. So be sure, because that could be the difference between winning and losing. The first team to correctly finish their puzzle will be safe. One person from the losing team will be eliminated. No! Okay, here are your teams. Grace, she, and Philly. Your team, Kahurangi which means Bianca, Raze, Ruben, your team Korfai. What do I do? Bro, you just stand around and look pretty. <laughs> I already do that. <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go! The rest of you six will now be competing in a moko puzzle elimination challenge. You will be split into two teams of three. Each team will have 32 tiles. You must recreate a moko design with the tiles. Okay, three, two, one, let's go! So I have a photographic memory, perfect for this challenge. I decide that I'm gonna be the first runner. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> So we run up and then we get to the back and his back is covered. His moko is humongous. Me and Raze, we pick up two piles and we just run and spread everything out. The process that I thought was good to start on is to start with the guardians, so the tiki, and then the two manayas that came down. She ran back and she took a look at the puzzle and she said, I can't remember a thing. Um, I'm looking at the top like right in the middle of the I think he points out the tiki. Um, tiki at the top. Is there a tiki? It is incredible. It's so intricate. I just took one look and I said, I ain't gonna remember this and just ran back and just <laughs> carried on with the puzzle. Okay, where am I gonna start? <laughs> I find a distinct piece of the tiki and I put it there and I start looking for the other pieces and I can't find any. This is so difficult. In Kahurangi, not a lot of chit chat. We, we've got a no, bit of a strategy we're going. Hard. Well, I thought I was going to be super bossy again, but we all just went nice and quiet and really concentrated, trying not to panic. No, I thought it went vertical. And turn around, and Raze had the lower back horizontally 
So that's when I realised that I had stuffed it up. So we're ahead of them just by like maybe five pieces. Gonna win, we're gonna win. Give props to Raze for finally getting us into a pattern. But after that, it seemed like she kind of just disappeared. How are we going, guys? Turning the piece around, turned it around again, and it just didn't make sense. Don't listen to Marvin. So me and B, we got a good thing going. We're um, communicating quietly. Did you see this? And I looked over to my shoulder and I saw Bianca walking over. I was like, girl, hell no. I already seen you in the other challenges. You're pretty tricky. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Go back to your side. I was not letting her in, no. She said, oh, let's go look over there at their puzzle. And I was like, no, girlfriend, like, let's just focus on ours and get it done. Yeah, had a lot. I probably shouldn't have looked because it kind of gave me like a, ooh. She's close. I'm starting to freak out when I hear that it's neck and neck. Chuck all the skin tones together. Yeah. And then I had an epiphany. Um, Textures of skin. Then we started matching up skin tones and that seemed to be working really well. We're getting somewhere. Not as fast as we would like, but we thought, you know, slow wins the race. We're getting so close. Shushila had a couple of pieces that she formed together. I had a couple of pieces that all fit together. So when I saw all of that and Grace's pieces, I knew that we can all just bring it together and it'll be a lot easier forming the final picture. Kahurangi have just done a massive leap. Come on, we got this, come on, we got this, we got this. Oh, these shift out, those push in, push in. Just double check, double check. We checked it out over and over again. No, double check it, because if we say done and it's wrong, that's one minute lost. And one minute in a conversation, I think, is a long time. We had a good roll going, and we look over and... Uh... We're done! Done! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Done! Pretty confident there. You didn't want to send a runner to check Anton's back before you called done? We were pretty confident that, that we got it right. Well. I mean, I'm hoping with all my might that it's wrong. And. It's over. It's over! Having a look now. I can make the call that Team Kahurangi. It's just like, can you just tell us if it's right or not? Because, yeah, he, he drags it out. Have made their puzzle. Correct. Team Kaurahi won the challenge. Yeah, oh, no, I was a little gutted and yeah, just uh, good on them. Well, Team Kahurangi, congrats. You three are safe. None of you has to do the walk of shame today. Team Kofai, Kalofai is for you lot. One of you will have to hit the road. I'm just praying it's not gonna be me, man. Raze, who do you think should go from your team? Not me. He's tricky. He's real tricky. Bianca, who would you vote off the marae? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> team Corpai all the way, gotta stay loyal. Ruben, you know, this is a competition. So that being said, you're not here to be a martyr. So I'm thinking that it's gonna be a vote. I don't think anyone deserves to leave. You know, we all worked hard. But, uh, you know, it is a competition, so I'm going to say... Not me. <laughs> I don't want to have to do this part. Well, taking all that into account... I will be deciding who is going home. Plot twist, Ollie chooses who goes home. And that's half the pressure off because you know we don't have to go up and make that decision for ourselves but who's going home i don't know and i'm scared as hell raze i could see that you had a bit of a game plan at the start and were getting some things going towards the back half though you kind of fell off and got a bit lost in behind there my heart just fell out of my stomach Ruben, as you say, you did start up the top with the tiki. I actually think that was a good strategy. But then also I saw you putting some pieces vertical, some pieces horizontal. 
I just thought those were some pretty major cons. Bianca, you were pretty quiet throughout this challenge. My hands are getting all sweaty. Doesn't help when Boomer is talking trash in my ear. I was like, yeah, wait till after this, Boomer. Bianca made me her nemesis. I just came here to play the game. Ruben, you've competed hard on both days of Know Your Roots so far. My heart's in my mouth, man. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to faint. We've loved having you here. Ruben must be going. <laughs> no, I'm just praying that I don't leave, but also coming to the realization that I might be leaving. But to be honest, every one of you in Team Four Five, you didn't put in the best performance today. Uh, are we gonna go home, all of us three? Can't really make a decision based off this elimination challenge. I don't know, it's just, it is nerve wracking. So the only fair way I can judge someone to go home is to fall back on the Poirako challenge. And the person who did the worst was Raze. What a dick, you know? He like almost gave me a stroke. Like what the heck was that? What the heck was that? So Raze, your journey on Know Your Roots has ended. This experience was amazing. Got to meet all, all these characters. I think with anyone that thinks that they're a plastic poly, like, like me, and if you ever get approached with an opportunity like this, go for it, because you're gonna learn more about yourself and from other cultures as well. So I think this was awesome. One, two, three, four, five! five. Honestly, I don't think Raze should have got sent home. Should have been Bianca. She's mud. He's a cheater. He's got no integrity, no mana. This whole beef between me and Bianca, like, that's one side of Bianca and Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a setup. You want us to do... You are oh. Team Maferu. Yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit disappointed. I feel like because I'm quite a strong competitor, they're just really trying to do what they can to uh, get me eliminated. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.